Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this uh, weird and wonderful AR channel. Today I'm sharing with you a new announcement which is the release of Stable Video Diffusion uh, Image to Text version 1.1. This new version has been specifically trained on a particular resolution and uh, has got a fixed conditioning at 6 frames per second with the motion bucket of 127. So I wanted to test this out and just quickly share with you guys how you can use this in creating animation and movement with still images. I feel it's a little bit more improved than the previous versions. I've been experimenting uh, with vertical images uh, with the previous version with just 1.0 and that wasn't handling that very well. However, in my experiments and check out my YouTube short, which will showcase some of the clips that I have created using version 1.1 and those are animations that are made using vertical images. Anyway, let's have a look in Comfy UI my workflow. This is the workflow. It's a workflow created by Neuralink and it's available here. You can download this particular workflow. I haven't made any major edits to this workflow other than aligning it with this particular trained setup. So I've set my resolution to this. I am generating more than 6 FPS because I want a smoother movement uh, but I have locked my motion bucket to 127. So let's have a look. This is my setup uh, once I've loaded it up in Comfy UI and you can see here that my width and height are set up. The video frames I want are 24 and motion bucket is set as 127. Now I upload my image over here. I am using the model SVT XT11. That's the model I have downloaded. You do need to register and provide your email and contact information before you can get access to it. This is a gated model, as you can see here. It says that very clearly. So to be able to get access to this, you do need to provide them with um, some basic information. All right, so let's test it out. This is one of those clips that it has created. You can see it looks pretty smooth. It's got movement in the body and the face as well. So let's take a couple of more images and try them out. Here are some of the images. So let's use this one. Now the image itself is not in the exact same dimension, but what this does is it will crop in and only animate that part. Um, so that's fine. You can upload a larger size image. Click Q prompt and now we wait. Obviously I will speed this up so you don't have to wait. There we go. A little bit unnatural, but it has got a decent movement, the movement of the camera and the movement of the subject there. And you can see it does do a good job. It's obviously doing that a little too much. That's okay. Let's try another one. Let's animate this one. That one's a lot better. You can see the movement is soft and subtle, smooth and the background movement is also there so the camera is moving around the subject and you've got the movement in the subject as well so i'll run a few more clips so you can see the results at the end of this video i'll run a few more clips and add them to the end of this video um, just wanted to show you how i'm using svd in this comfy ui interface uh, the new version of stable video diffusion 1.1 if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments below with all the settings that I've shared, it should be pretty self-explanatory. And all the links will be available in the description below. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you back very soon with another video on this channel. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.